Now, many of you already know that yet to date, NIO is one of the stocks that has not been doing that well in terms of share price because year to date, ladies and gents, NIO has done over 12%, whereas its counterparts like XPEN, it's up for 64%, Leoro up 66%, Tesla up 123%. But Neo on the other side is down 12%. This is something that, of course, is sort of like frustrating some of the retail investors who are investing onto this stock. And today we've got uh, to see part of the reason why it's like this. I mean, one of the reasons why Neo has not been performing well in terms of the share price is, of course, the low delivery numbers that they were producing in the first half of this year. I mean, that is quite obvious that Neo's reason or part of the reason why their share price has not been doing that well is their kind of deliveries they were producing in the first half. But the good thing, ladies and gents, is that in Q3 or at the start of Q3, we are seeing or we've been seeing Neo delivering good delivery numbers, which gives us hope that even the share price will, of course, recover as Neo continues to, of course, report good deliveries on a month to month. I mean, you will know that their monthly record came in July where we saw them delivering over 20,400. Then, of course, August, we saw them delivering over 19,300. And the chances are, even for the month of, of course, September, we might see them delivering plus minus 20,000 deliveries, which is something that is good, right? Now, today we got a certain report coming out from Morgan Stanley, ladies and gents, who also indicated the second reason why the NEO stock has not been doing well in terms of the share price. And that is the reason of saying that NEO has been the most shorted ADR share or Chinese ADR share in the market and this is something that of course explains why we're seeing Neo hurting the most or seeing a lot of hurt coming uh, when we look into the share price. The, the part of the reason is that it is the most shorted ADR in the New York Stock Exchange which is something that of course it's not good and I think part of the reason as I've said is because of the low delivery figures we saw in the first half is because of some of the news that comes like of course you will know that two weeks back the way news of Neo of course uh, offering senior notes which some of the retail investors or some of the investors did not really understand what that entails as this. they thought that it is meaning that the share dilution it is starting or Neo has just diluted their shares uh, of course the very same day which is something that of course we've covered on this channel and it was not like that so there were some of the things that obviously made of course are, are making some of the people not to have high hopes on Neo. Now another reason is of course Neo burning it uh, tons and tons of cash every time they report their earnings which is something that of course that it is not making of course investors to be really excited because it is sort of like reducing or it reduced their cash and cash equivalent which of course at a certain point it was almost at 8 billion and is now or oh, as of Q2 earnings is sitting at 4.3 billion dollars so these are some of the things that of course is resulting in some of the investors not to like or maybe some of the investors not to of course really prioritize near the moment due to that but as i've said the good thing is that now coming into q3 we've been seeing some good drastic improvements in terms of the deliveries that we are to, uh, seeing from neo I mean, for this month, you will know that Neo is expects to deliver somewhere between 15 and 17 thousand vehicles, and after, as of last week Saturday, they were already sitting at 13,900, and that excludes the kind of deliveries that are still to be factored in for this week and the European uh, delivery. So it is good news because if Neo can be able to get within their target, then of course they would have delivered somewhere between 55 and 57 thousand vehicles for Q which will be a record-breaking deliveries because Neo, the most that they've done was just over 40,000 vehicles back in Q4 and to see them now sitting at or sitting between 55 and 57,000 it will be so amazing though I believe as I've been saying in, uh, on this channel for some time in the previous videos I believe that Neo is going to thrash the kind of deliveries uh, guidance or the Q3 guidance or uh, this very same 55, 57,000 guidance they issued during their Q2 earnings I think Neo is going to play close to 60 60,000 vehicles for this 
quarter which will be so amazing to say that so yes in terms of the share price neo has been ladies and gents they've been struggling in terms of recovery comparing to the other ev companies but this is a company that is doing so well starting from the second half of this year and another good thing or another good uh, kind of news we received today is that at the end of 2022 all neo employees owned the neo stock meaning that all the new employees that are working for neo on a full-time basis they own this stock which is something that is good right to show that ladies and gents this encourages them to make sure that they put uh, in the work to make sure that this company at the end of the day performs this is a good initiative because to see that 100 percent of neos full-time and these are over 26,700 employees are owning the new stock it is something that is good news right because it means that even putting at the work as i've say, as i'm saying they will put more work to make sure that this stock recovers or these stocks do very well in terms of sales which is something that of course it is a good or it is a good thing so i'm very excited yes i know that the first half of this year was not good and it resulted in so many of the people not to like or not to talk like talking a lot about the neo stock but the second half it look it's looking like good things are coming in terms of deliveries we are to expect neo to really do well in terms of of sales otherwise before i forget the house rules you already know that this video is an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video i will appreciate if you can just hit the like button if you are enjoying the content that i'm giving you about the neo stock uh, the neo is one of the stocks that i talk a lot about on this channel because i believe in their fundamentals and their future prospects and i don't only just talk about this stock but i own over or approximately 1800 shares of this stock i believe in their fundamentals and my average is still around 23 dollars and 40 cents the plus minus i and i know that looking at where you was trading at ladies and gents i mean i made a loss but i'm hopeful that will get the situation uh, changing there are some technical guys that are saying uh, end of the year ladies and gents price target for new is over 20 dollars which should we get to see that then it will bring at least some excitement to those that own the new stock and have higher average price uh, average pie purchase price onto this neo stock like myself i mean i cannot wait to see neo heading back towards the 30s 40s and to the all-time high of 66 dollars and 99 cents and i am hopeful that we will get to see that all-time high coming once again in the near future otherwise uh, that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey before you buy new for the very first time it is always good that of course you do your own due diligence so that you at least you don't get to panic sell when you see sharp falls sharp drops onto this stock this is a stock that don't let the haters tell you it is that it is said to do very well the deliveries have improved there are other things like battery shopping stations that neo is sitting at a break even point uh, in most of their or in some of their these battery shopping stations that it has deployed which is something that is good and when talk of battery shopping stations all the, the neo users are now close to reaching 30 million swap or completing 30 million swaps which is something that of course it is quite good you will know that neo ladies and gents for you to enjoy these battery shopping stations you pay meaning that there is a revenue that neo generates from this uh, battery shopping station technology there is a revenue that neo will of course generate from the neo phone and together with the other of course lifestyle products that neo sells there is that other revenue that you always see in their earnings so that neo of course we always see them or we always see it over 100 million dollars which is something that is good and to know that now they've introduced the new phone chances are we might see of course in the near future of course or in the upcoming quarters ladies and gents neo getting to over 200 million after they factored in of course the neo or the sales from the neo phone otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all